Today, we're gonna dive deep into the Meta Business Suite and show you the top five features that you need to know. Hey, Lester Diaz here, and I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to the Meta Business Suite. When are you gonna make a tutorial video? How does it work? Should I be using the Meta Business Suite? Well, today I'm gonna answer all of those questions in this video. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you need to know is that if you don't already have access to the Meta Business Suite, all you have to do is go to business.facebook.com. You're gonna see a page just like this, where basically you can sign up uh, for the Meta Business Suite. This is not a separate Facebook account, by the way. This is the same Facebook account that you're using. It's simply another level to your uh, Facebook account. And basically there's a huge difference between the Meta Business Suite and the Business Manager. A lot of people confuse the Business Manager with the Meta Business Suite. And it's pretty much, I'm gonna try and do my best to describe it. But basically the Meta Business Suite is a place for you to manage content and see insights, you know, stats for your videos, images, and you know, post content, schedule content, all of that. But the Business Manager is more of the admin side of things where you can manage all your pages, who has access to these pages, um, what type of access, your ad accounts, if you're doing advertising, and your Meta Business Suite is simply for you to manage content and manage your individual Facebook pages. All right, so I'm inside my Meta Business Suite for one of my Facebook pages, and one of the first features that you need to learn about is how to link your Instagram page to your uh, Facebook page, and this is very useful if you are consistently posting content on both platforms at the same time. So you can use this as a way to manage everything you're doing on both Instagram and Facebook. Basically see all the stats of everything that's happening for both Instagram and Facebook from within one section, which is the Meta Business Suite. And one tip that I highly recommend you do, I know there's a lot of you guys that downloaded the Meta Business Suite app, I highly recommend that you only use the Meta Business Suite from within your desktop computer because it has way more features. It works a lot better than using the Meta Business Suite app. I found it to be uh, very limited when it comes to the different features that I wanted to do and different things that I wanted to do through the app compared to the actual desktop of the Meta Business Suite. So I highly recommend that if you're gonna be using the Meta Business Suite, always use it from within the Meta Business Suite desktop. So the second feature that you need to know about is the planner. Now the planner is very useful because like I said, it allows you to schedule content for both Instagram and Facebook at the same time. It's very easy to use and basically you can see here, I have a recent post. Um, it tells me if it's from Instagram or Facebook and I can just schedule basically anything that I want. I can schedule a post, I can schedule a story, I can create a reel, or I can even go live if I want to. And I can basically select different dates and times. If I go to month here, you can see that I can basically select what I want to post, um, when I want to schedule that. And I don't need any uh, third-party apps. I know there's a lot of you guys who have asked me about using you know, third-party apps to schedule content. And honestly, with the Meta Business Suite, I don't see the need of paying for a third-party app to schedule content where you can do it just from here. You don't need to pay for a third-party tool to be able to schedule content across multiple Facebook pages or Instagram pages. Now, the next section we're gonna look at is insights. And this is where you can see all the stats for your Facebook page and Instagram page. Um, the main overview section will give you a breakdown of what's going on over the past few days. And if you wanna go and dive into the details of you know, how your page is performing on a weekly or monthly basis, you can also see that. You can also see how your content is performing. You can see here all the different sections for content. Um, you can basically see how your videos are performing as well, whether you're posting reels or long form videos. Um, it'll tell you exactly how many people are watching it, your engagement rate, everything's gonna be in this section right here. And also if you're monetized, let's say you're making money from your page and you have videos that are making you money, if you click on this section, uh, video earnings, it'll break down you know, how much you're making per day um, and it'll show you how much money you're making for your videos as well. And I don't have enough time in this video to show you every single one of them, but basically what you need to do is review every single one of them so you understand what they show, the different stats that you need to be looking at 
for your Facebook page. So I would say if you are a content creator that's often uh, posting videos and reels on your page, what you should be looking at in your insights is video performance basically and also uh, video earnings if you are monetized and also keeping an eye on how individual videos are performing within your Facebook page. So those sections are gonna be basically here in video performance. You can see that it's showing me some of the content that I have recently posted, including some of the ads that I've been using and basically how many people have reached, you know, likes, reactions, all of that. So next we have the inbox section and the inbox section is very useful um, especially if you have a lot of messages coming in from both Instagram and Facebook and you don't want to go and check each individual platform for DMs. You can check basically both of them from within the Meta Business Suite for both Instagram, uh, Messenger, and also WhatsApp. They now added WhatsApp now where you can basically check your messages for WhatsApp within the Meta Business Suite as well. As you guys know, Meta owns WhatsApp as well. So you can also uh, take a look at the Facebook comments that are coming in for your recent post. Um, it's very easy to navigate. So instead of spending time checking each individual app, you can just log in, let's say 15 minutes per day and just check all your messages in one go. So this is one of the advantages of the Meta Business Suite that is having everything connected and organized in one place. And lastly is monetization. This is one of the features that the Meta Business Suite um, has basically dialed down into one specific section where you can see anything that's happening in regards to monetizing your Facebook page. You can see it in this section. And the monetization section, it'll tell you whether your page qualifies for monetization. If you have any issues with your page that you need to fix in order to um, get monetized, what sort of um, eligibility you have for your Facebook page. So if you click on view page eligibility, it'll show you for uh, which tools you qualify for monetization. Facebook has a ton of different tools um, to monetize your content like Instream ads, you can see it right here, stars, and there's a bunch of more uh, subscriptions. So basically, if you qualify for any of them, um, in this section of the Meta Business Suite, you'll be able to see for uh, which tools you actually qualify and then you can apply for those and start monetizing your content. In this section as well, you can also set up your payout information. So once you start making money from your content and you are monetized on Facebook, uh, you can set up a payout profile. So that means Basically, you can provide them with your bank details, your name, address, all of that information. And then once a month, uh, depending on how much money you make, uh, Meta will make a deposit to your bank account for whatever amounts of money you made for that money. Hopefully by now you have a better understanding on how the Meta Business Suite works and why you should be using it. And of course, I highly recommend that if you're gonna be using the Meta Business Suite, it is best to use it from desktop and not the actual app. I've seen a lot of bugs and there's still a lot of missing features within the Facebook Meta Business Suite app. So if you wanna really take full advantage of everything that we talked about in this video, then I highly recommend you use the Meta Business Suite from within the desktop because it works better, it has way more features and it's a lot easier to use. And if you wanna understand how to make more money from your content on Facebook and Instagram, then go ahead and watch this video because I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to get monetized on Facebook and how you can use this to essentially make a full-time income. So hope you like it and I'll see you guys in my next video.